I'm Lynn Langett, developer evangelist here in Southern California, and we're at a teaching kids programming event where we taught a bunch of kids uh, programming with Small Basic. And I have someone with me. You want to introduce yourself? Sure. My name is Lisa Morgan, and I'm a teacher at Godinas Fundamental High School in Santa Ana, California. I have 30 of my 35 um, AVID class um, members, and uh, they are juniors in high school, and they're part of the AVID program, which the goal is to get them into a four-year school um, as soon as they graduate. Super. Um, well, my expectations um, were that it was going to be a great day, mm -hmm. and my expectations were more than met. Um, all of my students come from backgrounds that they don't have anybody in their family who has gone to college, and most of their parents did not graduate from high school. So to say that they're not that experienced in technology is an understatement. They don't get a lot of exposure to it. Um, so. Coming in today, knowing that they were going to be doing programming, basic programming, um, I didn't really, I showed them the flyer that you guys sent out, and um, I didn't really talk that much about it because they're just really eager learners. And and, um, and then we went right into the lab and got started with hands-on, 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 which um, we research shows and we know from experience that that is the absolute best way. And I also really liked um, the way that you guys structured it, that um, they got many, many opportunities to fail, and ultimately everyone succeeded. So it's like a beautiful blend of um, all the best teaching practices, and so we have a lot of successful basic programmers here. Yeah. It's really exciting to see that we have the five-part process for each recipe where we teach them the basic concepts, then we recap it as instructors so they can absorb, then we have a variation which actually gets into something called refactoring, but it just allows them to play a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then we have a quiz, and um, then we have something called homework which goes even deeper. So we were able to do that in the first recipe, and one thing that's always a lot of fun is to see that we get 100% success on the quiz and on the homework, which is progressive. Mm -hmm. uh, we were then able to go into the second recipe and get as far as the quiz, and again, we get 100% success. Um, one of the girls, um, I said to her as we walked out, I said, so does your brain hurt? And <laughs> she said, a little, but it was great. I learned so much. It was awesome, Mrs. Morgan. So, I mean, it's like right there, there there's there's the proof in, in what the students say. So. Yeah, it's really Exciting. And one of the great things about it is this is built on Small Basic, which is free software um, and some extensions that we wrote at Teaching Kids Programming, and then the core recipe library. One of the other things is we've started to create teaching training videos so that we can share our best practices with the education community. And anybody that participates in an event gets a USB drive, and they can take it back, and they can continue with these lessons and recipes at their school. It's awesome. 